Here is the circuit of my 14 meg VFO. We start at 28 megs with a VCO. Square up the signal in a linearized XOR gate. Divide by 2 which gives us 14 to 14.35 megs. We take that 14 meg signal and we compare it with a crystal oscillator at 13.56 megs. In the first stage of uh, an 8 bit shift register, and the first stage is a D type which acts as a digital mixer, which means that out of the first stage we get a pulse train, which is the difference in frequency between the local oscillator and the 14 megs. So out of here we're going to get 400k to 700k or thereabouts. That also travels through the remaining seven stages of the shift register. So if we put an XOR gate across the shift register, we're going to get some pulses. And those pulses are going to be seven units in duration. And there's going to be one on the leading edge of the 400k and one on the trailing edge of the 400k. So out of the exclusive OR gate, we're going to get 800k pulses. <coughs> which are integrated in R6 and C6 which will give us a smoothed voltage given by this equation where we have the difference in uh, local oscillator between the local oscillator and the 14 megs that gives us the number of pulses per second out of the digital mixer and then we get the duration of the pulses which is seven units given by the seven stages of the shift register and the duration of one unit is the reciprocal of 13.56 megs and we have a factor two here because we get a pulse on the leading edge and a pulse on the trailing edge and if VCC equals five volts we do the sum and we come out with 2.27 volts if the VCO is at 14 megs and 4.08 volts if the VCO is at 14.35 megs. We follow that up to uh, the point where we compare that voltage with our desired frequency which is set by RV1 in a zero drift comparator which also operates as the main integrator of the loop which is C6 and R9 and that is used to control the uh, vary cap diodes on the VCO So that lot fits on the board where we have a JFET oscillator, the XOR gate, linearized XOR gate, and a divide by two here, onboard 5 volt regulator, the shift register, the XOR gate across the shift register, and the crystal oscillator. And here we have R6 and C6, which uh, are the uh, one of the loop integrators. And then round to the zero drift op amp. So <clears throat> in order for you to get a feeling of what this sounds like if I disable the loop you can hear the fundamental uh, stability of the VCO itself. So I'll listen on 14.4 megs which is the out of band VCO and put my finger around here, here you can see that we're susceptible to external capacitance put my finger on the coil you can see we get temperature drift <clears throat> now if I enable the loop Uh, and switch to 
14.35 megs. Here we have the control voltage from the potentiometer, 4.08 as calculated. We can control the frequency all the way down to 14 megs if we swing the pot down to uh, 2.27 volts and it's perfectly linear. Rotation of the pot is absolutely linear with the uh, frequency irrespective of the non-linearity of the vary caps and there's no temperature drift even though the vary caps are obviously very sensitive to temperature. Now if, <coughs> if we go back to these equations when we're deriving our tuning voltage, if we derive the tuning voltage from VCC so that the desired frequency is determined by the degree of rotation of the potentiometer across VCC, we'll have VCC on both sides of the equation and they'll cancel out. So in fact the circuit is immune to the value of VCC, which I'll demonstrate. Here we have the stabilised board voltage on the left hand side. If I reduce that voltage so that the regulator stops working, as a change VCC, the loop is working to keep the frequency at the set point. right down to 3.3 .3 volts until the circuit will stop working eventually about there so we'll get it back up to the onboard regulated voltage there and you see that we're um, immune to capacitance variation now as long as it's within the loop bandwidth I can put my finger on the coil warm the coil up take my finger away and there's no drift so here we have a 5 volt square wave coming out at 14 megs into the aerial and the circuit is drawing a bit less than uh, 10 milliamps. If I put a 50 ohm load we get 20 milliwatts out but um, the circuit then draws about 20 milliamps. Now one thing to be aware of is that the control voltage varying for less than 2 volts swings the frequency from one end of 20 meters to the other so we're talking about um, hertz, several hertz changes for microvolts. So we have to keep uh, any uh, line voltage away. So having long wires on the control, uh, not a good idea, which is why I've put an extra large electrolytic to try and get out, keep out the 50 hertz. but now we have full control over 20 meter band a temperature immune board and a VCC uh, immune circuit